Hey, how are you doing? Sorry I'm late. Oh, you're good. You're good. We're doing well. This is Christina. I'm, I'm here with my husband, Brandon. Okay. Hey, ask away. Whatever you need to know, how can I help? So, obviously, we've been following your YouTube channel for a while. Love what we see. Um, we're looking for a new dog. The uh, first husband of this quite some time uh, was pleasantly surprised that we, we heard from you. Um, so we're just trying to figure out what the next steps would be and what that process would look like. Okay, well, let me give you the phone. What I'm actually about to do is send you a video. You guys are looking for a boy? Yes. Okay, well, there's one boy left, and I'll walk you through the process if you so choose. Now, I just, I think in the YouTube, <laughs> I literally walk people through. He's technically going to be, I don't know if size and all that stuff matters to you guys, but he'll be the boy that I think is going to turn out to be the most bully, if that makes sense. He's, he's got the, he's got, and I'm going to do videos. I mean, I'm literally got to keep reminding these, and, and just forgive me, but these idiots that message me all the time. Hey, man, how do I get my dog bigger? It don't work that way, man. You got to let him just grow up. So the one I'm keeping, he's, he's the smallest of the boys. The blue boy, he's tiny, but there's a video coming through right now. Like when you see, this is the last boy, and I'm surprised, um, you know, I, I know why people want blue, but he's the one that's like, all right, he's going to be a meathead. And he's still yeah, blue. we actually have a blue one now. He's from a rescue. We had another blue that was also a rescue. So we we do know that we love blue. He's so cute. Yeah, so you oh see that? God. You see, and you yeah. can see the difference even as you scroll through the video. Watch the video and the two uh -huh. structure, head structure, all that stuff. They're going to be, yeah. he's going to be a nice dog. Um, but I'll walk you through the process objectively. If you want pet home, he's 4000 You want breeding rights at $6,000. I got all their paperwork. If you ever lose it, I can get it back to you. If you say, hey, I don't know if I want to breed now, I want to breed later, you buy it at home, you can call me. I'm not the breeder that disappears. Clearly, that's evident by now. But if you say two years from now, hey, I think I want to do breeding rights, pay the last 2000 I send you the paperwork um, and, you, and you're good to go. You guys are receiving all of your um, handling and shipping side. What that means is we normally have people either fly in or they'll find a flight nanny. And uh, if you want his ears cropped, that's simple too, it's an extra 220. Uh, that's what my guy charges me, so I'm not making no money on it, but that's going to take place on November, the week before November 23rd, when the pups are ready. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that was one of our questions. Both of our past dogs had crop ears, so we do like that look. Hey, yeah, no, I, I literally told my guy Juan, I said, it might be three dogs, because the guy who's getting the blue boy, he said he okay. wants to keep his ears. He's got two boys with him. I said, that's fine, man. I'm just, I'm asking to be, yeah. be sure. But uh, my dog, definitely the female that this other girl's getting, the black female that's Merle. And then if you guys get this boy, that boy there, will, uh, his ears will be cropped at seven weeks. So I'll do, I'll do all the healing stuff. I'm pretty good at getting the ears healed pretty quick. So I got a couple tricks up my sleeve because I'm like, I got okay. Oh, yeah, I know. How long have you been, how long have you been breeding for now? Uh, technically since I was 13. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not an exaggeration. We had, we had a, a dog named Tank, a Ringo, the German Shepherd, and Deacon Long at the church. He had a dog named Sandy, and I talked my grandfather to let us breed, and I took the first boy wow. by name uh, Tank. I named him Tank. And then from there, I bought five dogs when I was 19, 36 now. I was doing it for 15 plus years, and I got really good at marketing and branding. So what I realized yeah. was that nobody actually cared about the dogs. And I've always been obsessed with dogs and had literally tons of dogs. And so yeah. I said, guys, if we do this right, we could be the difference. And so that's why I tell you, look, if you don't talk to me, don't send nobody no money. You can call me anytime once you have my number and ask questions. Um, if you get a dog, any of your dogs have problems, you can call me anytime. I know you solve everybody's problems. <laughs> yeah. uh, and when it's, it's, that's the part that we love. You can clearly see in your, your YouTube channels and the way you talk about animals. And you, you have a, a passion and a love for the dogs. It's not just business, but you want these man that's the hardest part is literally this part right here it is making sure that the dogs get to the right place um there have been people who sent me you know messages with the money in their ear and stuff i just delete those messages bro you're not getting one of these dogs it's not even happening <laughs> we we got nothing to discuss my friend we we'd rather take a loss on cost um to make sure that the dogs get that hopefully 10 to 15 plus uh, and then yeah. all the guides, anything food, nutrition-wise, you get all that too. And the biggest thing that some people really appreciate, because we've put 24 dogs out there, literally throughout the, the just the U.S., um, cooking not in every state, but 
people love that they can like, hey, Trev, this can you, can you walk me through this or walk me through that? Send me blood work, and I've sent people personal videos of Ted like analyzing blood work and things that he says, oh, I thought it's fine. Check this out. They should ask for this. And so the, you, now you've got access to a second vet's opinion where I get to ask the questions if you don't feel like you're being taken care of. Ah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah, been a useful too. We wanted to send you our condolences about the loss of ego, too. Yeah, yeah, that's a huge loss. I, you know, I'm, I'm I'm okay, but in truth, you know, we, we when I just last night was watching the dogs play with the pillow and the rope, trot and uh, cha cha. You know, every one of those dogs is good at that because of him. Aww. Yeah, so they're all, you know, every dog we have in this house was built around that boy, um, and that's why yeah. I've said it in plenty of videos. He's the dog, and I got to make his son that. Mm -hmm. I, I got to make it Sunday, so we got a lot more work to do. But yeah, that was yeah. that was a tough one. Yeah. So, where any? Where um, we we live in like upstate New York, so if we would come there personally to if we decided to get the dog. That would, that's not a hard thing for us to do. Okay. Um, and then so obviously we'll talk tonight. Okay. Do you wanna? So what's the waiting list like? What's that like? How fast I'm, 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 I'm calling you guys before I call the next guy. And uh, okay. he, he sent photos of his big boy, his grown boy. So there have been, we, we got through everybody who was waiting for a mirror ego, and quite a few people responded. Okay. So we got one boy, two girls left. Everybody's kind of looking for that boy. One of the girls, the woman who's buying one of the dogs, she says, Man, I know I said I want a boy, but can I switch? So she switched, which opened up the last boy, because uh, she goes, I just feel like that video, like she's talking to me. I'm like, I gotta have her. So, so it worked out, but you know, when we're making phone calls, um, I would tell you guys, the sooner the better, but because I talked to you, I'll wait for your response even when I get off the phone with him. Because um, now it's in that, we'd like to know where the dogs are going. I'm asking certain people, hey, what kind of development do you need? These are the baby genius stages, and I know how to bring up a Yeah, okay, cool. I do have a random, I think a random question based on your experience. Yeah. It usually leads people one way or another to pick a female versus a male dog, or it just come down usually to preference. I think that some people don't want to deal with some of the bleeding stuff, um, and then I do think also people think that boys are easier to manage, but a female dog, in my experience, is the best dog you could ever own. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it, it, with all dogs, so. yeah, yeah no, I think. Yeah, it, 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 there's there's a there's a it's a hard pill. Like people understand, like when you look at the animal order, what do the women do in the Lion King? The Lion King, the women go do all the work. Wolves, the female leads the pack, and she does all the hunting. Yeah. So everywhere yeah. you go, a great female can manage your whole yard. So even when Zara's fussy, you see that, but like every dog knows not to bother her. And and when they do, she's like, look, I didn't even come out here to be bothered, but now you're testing your luck. And I'm your mom. She's a mom to a lot of them. So yeah. Um, yeah. They just get swayed, and then other times they'd be really wanting to breed. So most of the time, we're surprised that we even have any females left, because normally, everybody in mom like, man, I need a girl, I need a girl. Now they're like, man, I need, I need a boy, but I think it's because they like, I want an ego or something. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your, your feministic approach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you right now, I always will be a girl dog dad. And so, <laughs> It's, it's, it's my thing, so after this, you know, I'll keep two more girls, but it's all for me. I love the, yeah. I love the way the females act and who they are. Interesting. That's awesome. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. And then, I know you mentioned the, the time frame for the ear cropping. Yeah. Uh, when does that usually leave mom? Is it 12 weeks? No, mom's gone. She's done. Oh, okay. So they're already done with mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, they're getting to, I mean, they're, these dogs, these pups have got some teeth. So, How old are they? Huh. They turn four weeks old Friday, and oh, okay. I think a good portion of it's due to some of the nutritional tricks I'm putting the mom, and every pup yeah. is just getting better and better. But four weeks old, um, once I see the teeth come in, we switch. It is, this has been the, the most intelligent active group I've ever had. Hmm. Very cool. And we're, we're looking for a little, so our bully right now is, from my experience, a true bully, because he doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> Um, so we want, we're active people and we're looking for a dog who's going to be a little bit more active with us than this guy, um, even though we do love him dearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it, man. I, I, well, you, if you follow, you know we only breed with the intent to uh, make sure a dog for one can walk him out. We saw that point yeah. four. The minute Maestro gets his uh, 
He has his first little round of shots at eight weeks. He will start his mile journey every day. Uh, it's, one of, it's one of my rules. So every dog in this particular litter should be eight. I mean, they're already moving crazy now. They're moving like four weeks old. For them to be moving like this is literally nuts. But if no dog leaving my house should not be able to, should be able to walk two, three miles if you need him to. Now, nobody's going to be Tron, to be very clear. Tron's a different breed. He's, he's a different breed. There's no dog in here that could probably keep up with Tron. Everybody has an off switch. But Tron just keeps going and going and going. But these ones will be good. Um, Stan keeps a mirror on the treadmill. Um, you guys know Ego was active every day uh, since the day he was born. So there's no doubt in my mind um, that these ones are going to stay pretty motivated. Uh, you write about the true movies. They can't do nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, that would drive, that drive me crazy. That's how Baloo got put out. He said, hey, somebody come get the dog. I paid $7,000 for Baloo. It's, he got to go. That brother won't be walking on the block. I'm telling you, you, know, you, you couldn't get him out the front door, and if you, you'd have to drag him halfway down the block just so he can get his head. Like, bro, you're not going back to the house. You got to finish his block. So. Man, look, they. I don't know why. I think it's because he looked like a little Ninja Turtle, man. Yeah, so, but <laughs> after you're getting your your crop to healing, when would the best like what's the time frame for like pickups in December? No, right. no, you guys come, you guys come that weekend. The so the weekend of the twenty third, all dogs can leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we'll be at the eight week mark. See, eight, eight, and eight to nine weeks is when we like to get them gone. At ten weeks, because I mean the way these dogs are moving too, they need to get into their leadership and know who they kind of like the roles are. In a two, in a four day time frame, I can make a dog mine. And so I'm very good at this thing uh, when it comes to dog development. So I, some people are like, hey, you gotta come get this dog, man. Like these aren't, these aren't the, the bullies online. They need structure, they need the discipline, and discipline meaning consistency. They need to know who's care, who's in charge. So that, believe it or not, AKC wrote a study in between eight and 16 weeks, the dog's character forms. So in our case, the 23rd, um, Kate, she's coming from Alaska. She'll be okay. here. She's coming up here to grab her dog. She's actually going to Oklahoma again. We're going to drive, grab the puppet, and fly back. Okay. All right. All right, cool. Any other recommendations? Like this dog that we have now, even though we have our other dog, is pretty unintuitive. Like I said, doesn't really care much about other dogs beyond that initial breeding. Uh, with a puppy, any recommendations on your part of how to kind of get to be aware of the dog's early, early stages? Well, you'll have, you'll have me on, on speed dog, but two things I would encourage people to do. Keep the dog separate for the first two weeks. Um, make sure it's confident okay. and comfortable. Slow introductions, depending on your dogs. Um, okay. Nobody technically ever sees the puppy in my house until it's like one at a time. And then the first almost six to eight months, the, the puppy never gets to play with any of the dogs we have right there because it's too rough. They're yeah. Too rough. yeah. And, and you've got, I'm actually going to do a video on tipping the scale. So you've got two things that get the best of a dog, both confidence and then you've got the dog who becomes defensive, right? So in this case, you can tip that scale if something happens or a dog reacts or nibbles at him if he gets too close to his food. And what you don't want in a bully expressing mind, come to mind world, is for them to ever get, um, I want to say auspicious. Hey, like, what's going on here? You know, and then if they have to become defensive, now you have a whole nother problem. Because like Maestro, he's, he's the one, like Ego was, to go go with me everywhere. So I can't have him ever on 10. He needs to be at about a, at a five and then have good judgment. So early introductions are good, like, hey, look at, but then that isolation to a degree, where you just let the pup grow up, get familiar with you guys, and he's gonna walk in with tons of confidence, it's gonna make it life easy. But if that bully gets defensive or anything, just keep him separate until you really build him out over a six to nine month range. And at nine months, is when the dog kind of has a good idea, and that's when they begin to test you. Nine to twelve months. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had those initial conversations, so it's good that you are here to get that confirmation about what our initial plans to execute that work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what I said. You, anybody buy a dog from me? <laughs> I'm saying exactly what to do, what not to do, because I know exactly who their parents are, how this breed functions. I come from from game dogs, highly motivated dogs that will walk through a wall if need be, and. Uh, <laughs> I might my grandparents, people walked out the gym with them. They were also just foundation just good dogs because of me. Mm -hmm. And so I read behavior and I don't put half the stuff I know online. <laughs> I just pretend to be an idiot and, and talk a lot, that's all. <laughs> 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 but 
But yeah, any questions, let me know what you're thinking. Um, I guess I won't make a decision until you guys do. I'm going to jump on the phone with a few more people. Um, and once you make your mind up, uh, how it goes is you'll send 2000 and the goal is to have the dog paid off, whatever you choose, breeding rights or not, have him paid yeah, off before yeah. you pick him up. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, so he won't leave. All airlines allow that? <laughs> yeah, but some of them will threaten you. Like, hey, if anything happens, you never can fly America again. I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Uh, -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in this case, you, you, they'll put you in a seat, um, mm -hmm. and you got your carrier. And as long as the dog, which yep. you can, can fit between your legs, you're good. So most yeah, of them don't right. even care. They just, they won't even say nothing. But it's an extra ninety dollar charge. Yours will only be one of that. Yeah, 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 and, and even Jamarcus is going Monday to go bring me back a bulldog. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, I got we got more dogs coming. That's the other thing too. So. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. That was my last question for your phone. Um, if we didn't end up with anybody in this letter, are there other anticipated letters for next year? Yeah, yeah, I would tell some of the people like yourself who are serious. I tell them one K secures you get a dog. Um, Hera will be bred. Cha Cha will be bred twice. And Hera. Yeah. Okay. And and Cha Cha will be bred as well going into okay. um, and Amira again. She's getting bred right back to a dog named Frank the Tank. And and everybody will be bred out by the end of twenty twenty five. And then there'll be no okay. there'll be no yeah, more breedings. Time frame too. Yeah, no no more breedings until twenty twenty seven after that. But if no. for those people like, hey, I want first pick on such and such, they go because mm -hmm. uh, there's no way to call you guys back. I'm like, yeah. We, we, we touch everything, but a, a pay waiting yeah. list, just make sure that you're my first phone call, depending on what breeding okay. you're interested in. If you see something, you guys get the kind of like first right of refusal. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's that, but whatever you decide, it, it's all right with me. I appreciate you guys, and I'm glad you jumped on the phone, as I tell people. Yeah, Talk yeah to absolutely. Thank you again for all that time. Uh, we enjoyed talking to you. We'll be in touch. Sounds good. You guys have a good night. Okay. Right, you too. Right. Hey. That was a good phone call, wasn't it, y'all? Like, you go, TV here with Bully TV. That's what it's like when you call a breeder and you're asking good questions and they're sitting there with their spouse and they want to know, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about the dog? We have a dog. How do you do that? I'm like, huh, this is how you don't fuck this up. It's by asking someone how to take care of your dog. And the hardest part about this whole fucking thing is watching these, I mean, look at their faces, man. Look at these puppies. Like a child, they didn't ask to be here. I've kind of taken that role of, well, you guys are here. And I think the world is interested in you. I got to take care of you and I want to keep people inspired to do the right thing. And that is something like that. Hey, let's talk. Let's talk. Call me. I, I literally told them, like I said, sorry I'm late. I told my call my seven, he was working on another episode. <laughs> I thought I could finish at the time, but we didn't. Shout out to them for jumping on the phone. It's no harm, no foul. People don't buy the dogs, people. Somebody go get all these dogs, believe me, that's not an issue. A lot of times, my fear and the issue is, is that people don't care as much as I do because all this costs money. All this costs time, energy, and effort. And God, these are some great pups. And I think they should, I think they belong in an amazing, an amazing home with amazing people. Guys, take care of your dogs. Thank you as always for watching Fit Bully TV. This is the, this is the way you're supposed to talk to your breeders, man.